Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Goo here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a war recap with Town Hall 9 attacks in our most recent war against Clash United. As you can see, we lost by two stars. It was, it was a very tough war and we fought it out till the end. Town Hall 9's had a decent war. We had to struggle a little bit, but we managed to clear all the 9's. Our first attack will be from Poker under number nine. He's coming. <clears throat> he's coming in with a Gobo Ladoon. Two golems, one at six and one at four o'clockish. Some whiz and a baby drag to funnel. Sin sends his wall breakers. His king comes down. The bowlers and queen goes down. Places a jump. Rages the kill squad up, takes out that air defense, and it's going to take out that queen. Slowly starts learning to CC, which is full of goblins and a baby drag, I believe. Heals up the kill squad. Pops a king's ability to help take out the CC. By now, 2 air D has gone down. Queen is still up. Queen takes out. Queen and Bowler takes down that third AD. Sends in two hounds from 12 o'clock ish that goes to the 2 o'clock air defense. Rages some loon to help push through that Wiz Tower Tesla farm. Sends in some more loons at 2 o'clock with under a haste. There's still one hound up. Loons slowly come in. Taking that air defense, the archer tower, and finally the wizard tower. And then all it has left is those the cannon, the archer tower, the mortar, and the bomb tower. Hound is gonna get there first. Seeking air mine pops it. But the sheer amount of loons will overpower the last remaining defenses. that's gone. Nice job by Poker, coming in with a 3 star under top Town Hall 9. Alright, let's go into our next attack. It will be on number 11 by on number 13, Kenzo. He's coming in with a Shatter Goho with a baby drag to help funnel. Drops two golems, one at the 6 o'clock mortar and another at the 5 o'clock archer tower. Puts a couple of wizards behind each of the golem to help funnel. A baby drag to help funnel as well. He's attacking like, like one of the current meta bases, like one of those no fly zone bases, and they're very susceptible to like, ground attacks, especially hog attacks. He drops his heroes before dropping. Uh, yep, drops his heroes. They go in, drag out the CC. King takes out that Archer Queen. Pops a King's ability. Queen will take out that baby drag and wizard. Puts a minion at approximately 3 o'clock to take out the lab and some trash buildings. Golem is still up and taking and in comes the hogs. First some at the 3 o'clock mortar, then at the 2 o'clock archer tower. smashing everything some more at approximately one o'clock puts him under heel since there's a tesla and some giant bombs it come and comes to rest with some cc hogs puts down early heel over the teslas lots of springs it shouldn't be a problem as he has, still has plenty of hogs left and another heel Picks out the wizard tower, triggers another giant bomb, but it's over. Nice shot by Kenzo. Also a representative from, he and Poker were both representatives from 100% adults in this war. And 
Our next attack will be your number 12 by our uh, by number 10 bent. He's coming with a cold blooded Laloon. Drops one golem at one o'clock ish. But some woods are behind it while the golem tanks. Jumps drops a jump. When the funnel is complete, drops his heroes. The sole purpose of this kill squad is just to take out the king and one air defense and drag out the CC. <laughs> takes out the king uh, queen. Pops the king's ability. Some wizard takes out that uh, first air defense. Drags out that CC. Puts down poison for it. Queen is still up. CC gets a little distracted. Distracted. There's a witch inside, so it's pretty annoying. Pops a queen's ability to help take it out. Puts a nut, uh, drops a loon, and a wizard behind it. And the witch goes down. He drops his first sound. That goes all the way down to the four o'clock. AED drops another hound on that. As he drops his hound, he puts one or two loons behind each. And hastes them in for his defense. One hound pops. Show you a problem as he, he has another. And he has one that he still hasn't dropped yet. He drops his final hound. Drops a heal on the loons that's taking that, that wizard tower. And then Encombs the rest of the loons at that Tesla farm. Rages them up also. Hound is taking quite a lot of damage, but there's still two hounds up, I think. Yeah. And he takes it out. No shot by Bent. <clears throat> Getting in three star. Benton is also for a hundred percent adults. Let's just clean up. The loons bit a split, so it'll be easier on cleanup. And it still has pups all over the place. Good job by Bent. Now let's get into our next replay. It will be on number 13 by number 18 Sal. He's coming with a stone hobo. Drops one golem and a wizard and baby drag behind it. Drops the second with a good amount of wizards behind it to help fund all those trash, uh, all those collector storages. Tesla farm pops up. Wizard is still tanking for it. The first golem pops. Drops a jump at approximately 12 o'clock. Drops a CC bowler as funnel is nearly complete. Still a couple golems still up. Rages him up. The bowler goes in, does quite a good amount of damage. Hound is in CC, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. But Queen will lock onto it. Drops his first couple hogs at the 3 o'clock mortar. Bowlers take out that bomb tower. And then more, some more hogs. Triggers a giant bomb. Drops a heal for it. For them. The rest of his hogs come in at the six o'clock. The hound pup pops, but the queen has taken down most of the pups. Only one pup is still standing. Drops his final heal for the hogs. And only one mortar left, and the base is gone. Nice job by Sal. And just clean up from there. Up. 
Uh, next attack will be our number 21 Steam under number 14. He's coming with a Queen Walk Dragoon as he sees all three Air D's grouped at bottom. So he drops his Queen at 6 o'clock, starting a Queen Charge. Queen is taking out all those bottom defenses. Just go work her way up to take out those air D's. Air defenses. Lures the CC out. Poisons them. Drops a rage for it to help take it out. First eight air defense goes down. Drops a baby drag to help fun for the drags later on. And comes the drags. He brings some CC loon to take out that uh, air defense at 9 o'clock. Drops his king to help funnel along. So the drags just go straight through the base. Queen takes out the second air defense. The drags are working their way through their base. Some wall breakers have opened up a compartment for the queen to walk into and she takes out the final air defense. Drags on the rage has taken out the, taken out the enemy archer queen. The base is as good as gone since there's only one tower that can really damage the dragons, which is the archer tower. There's plenty of drags left. He still has a couple of wounds too. And the base is as much as gone. Drops his final loons on it, takes out the archer tower. The loons will go for the core where the Air sweeper is triggers some bombs along the way, but two drops from it takes out the barracks, barracks, and the air defense. Nice job by Steam getting a six pack this war. Nice job. And our next replay will be our number 16 under number 25 Papa Smurf coming in with a Pentaladoon with a Skelly spell. He zaps Quake. One the air defense approximately at six o'clock. Drop some loons to take out the mortar. Drops his hero heroes at the bottom. They're funneling inward. Pops a king's ability. Takes out a good amount of the base. Good chunk of the um, trash belt things at least. Pops a queen's ability. Enemy queen is attacked by his queen. Takes her out. Two hounds goes down at approximately the nine o'clock air defense. Another hound follows it, but dropping from 10 o'clock ish, then just a wave of loons, and one more hound at two more hounds at the 12 o'clock AD. One pops, two, two of them popped already. Rages them up across the core, just mashing everything along his way. Drops a couple more loons around 2 o'clock ish. So many pups that are doing cleanup already. Takes out that final air defense, Teslas. Just a couple more Teslas and Wizard Towers left. One hound is still up. It finally pops. And just two, three more defes defensive building left. Pups are at work, cleaning everything up. 
fast forward a little bit. And the bass is gone. Nice shot by Papa Smurf. Game number three with Pentalalu. And let's go on to our next attack. It'll be Shazaz on their number 28 warrior. He's coming with a cold blooded hobo. Drops a golem at the 10 o'clock mortar. Drops two baby drags to funnel. Drops his hero. Po he's poison and CC all along. And a queen. Drops his boulders. He's carrying four heals, no spells for his kill squad. All of them are saved for the hogs. And in comes the hogs. There's some at the mortar, then they will go into the base. Drops his first heal, as you know, there's one giant bomb there. Drops a couple more at this uh, 3 o'clock compartment. Triggers another giant bomb up there. It shouldn't be a problem as the hogs take out that uh, expo. Puts out another heal for it. For them. Drops a giant to help tank for the hogs, but the hogs are mostly taken for themselves. There's no hogs left at this point to drop, but it's still a good amount up. The enemy queen is attacking the hogs, but it will be too good of a problem as there's only a couple defenses building left. Queen is working her way down the base to clean up. Takes out the archer tower, it's gonna take out that whiz tower. And the giant bomb takes out those hogs with one hog left at the air defense, but the queen is gonna I mean the king is gonna take it out. But queen still at full health, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Queen and queen starts shooting at the wall to take out that air defense. Nice job. Shazaz also got a six pack this war, so good job to them. Our second to find, uh, our final replay of this recap will be a Stone Bolo by our number 30, Cartman against their number 30. Drops two golems, one at the six o'clock apartment, the other at the three o'clock. Triggers all the Teslas. Some wizards behind it, drops his final golem at the 5 o'clock compartment drops on wall breakers to break them in. Drops king, queen, and bowler. CC comes out. Drops his jump a little late on the poison, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem as there's only minions in it, so it's easy to take out. Triggers a giant bomb, but has a heal ready for his kill squad for the bowlers. 1 AD goes out. Two of them has gone down already. Puts down another rage for his kill squad. And the final two should go down in a moment. And the last one has gone down. And now he's just spreading looms all across the base to take out the last remaining buildings. Defensive buildings. Still hasn't used his queen's ability yet. Looms are just coming into one place. He still has a couple looms. Drops the remaining looms. And the base is pretty much gone. Nice job by Cartman. Getting a three. That's a wrap. And now I like to say... So Doc, T Diddy, and Shazaz and Steam all got six packs this war. So good job to them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like, subscribe, and comment. I hope to see you in my next video.